Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here just after 1.30 in Honolulu, 7.30 in New York. It is Wednesday, 16th day of June, 2021. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver, a virtual meltdown, tumbling gold prices, taking it to an intraday low today of 1804 before slightly recovering. This following a new release of a revised dot plot indicating that they would have two hikes of interest rates in 2023 rather than one. That sends stock market tumbling, gold tumbling. And I have to acknowledge that in the 11 years that I have done this show, this is one of the harder shows to have done. I'll explain that in detail during the show, which begins now. We are currently looking at gold open in Australia after selling off by about $48 today, trading to a low of 1804 it is currently trading off forty seven dollars and fifty cents at eighteen fourteen it is fast market conditions we were stopped out as we entered a trade yesterday this is undoubtedly the quickest trade that i have recommended and i apologize for it there is no other way to express it but i got it wrong again traders the outcome of today's fomc meeting is the opposite of what i expected to occur we did go long at 1860 we put stops at 1823 the rationale behind putting our stops where we did was to cover us below the 50-day moving average here, as well as the 38.2% Fib retracement at 1832. As you can see, it broke through violently as gold prices tumbled, reaching a low intraday of 1804. We are currently flat with no active trades in gold or silver, and we will definitely wait to see where the dust settles. My anticipation right now is we could see gold track as low as maybe 1797 that is based upon the 100 day moving average while gold's tumble and decline today of over two percent was partially attributable to traders bidding the precious yellow metal lower it was dollar strength you can see the dollar chart here and the dynamic move a gain of one percent along with an uptick in yields of 10-year notes that added to today's fall so exactly what was it that the Federal Reserve said that caused this dramatic change in market sentiment and this violent sell-off in gold? Well, the first thing is the dot plot, because the Fed dot plot is still indicating that there won't be any rate hikes till 2023. However, it did change in that it showed 11 out of 18 officials expect at least two rate hikes in 2023. And in the last session, only seven expected one rate hike. Seven officials now see this first rate hike next year up from four in March. The other thing is that they started to talk about talking about tapering. While they said that it is still data dependent, Chairman Powell in his press conference did announce that the Fed held its first discussion about slowing down on its bond purchases. While they'll continue to buy $120 billion per month, keeping its mandate and benchmark the way it's been set, the Fed also said it wanted to see substantial further progress before slowing down. So they didn't really give a timeline, but they said that the first steps of pulling back are when they will see some support in the economy. Lastly, the Federal Reserve did acknowledge the recent upticks in inflation. They are now moving their mandate from over 2% to 3% in terms of acceptable inflation. And they still are maintaining that it is transitory. Nonetheless, gold tumbled in active trading today. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. I apologize for not being able to deliver that to you today. Bye-bye.